Hi, let's cover links and uploading files. First, let's do uploading files. You have a button here, a little paper clip. It will type it for you, or you can type it yourself. You need to type attach with a capital A, A-T-T-A-C-H colon, and with no spaces in between, the file name and the extension for the file. So for example, if I want to put nyses.jp, oops, png. I think it's a png. So I'm going to put New York Solar Energy Society png. When I go and save the page, it comes up with a link with a little triangle next to it. That's the upload link. If I click on that, it asks me to choose the file. And I'm going to use that one. Oops, you can't see it. Here you go, that'll help. See here, there's a little choose on the Mac. A little bit different on a PC, but essentially the same idea. You choose the file. It tells you what the file name on your system is going to be. And this is the file name it's going to change that to. And it is a JPEG. Whoops. Let's make that JPEG. Upload. Now I'm going to go back to editing my page and change this to a JPEG. When I save, it displays the picture. Next, if I want to make a link to an outside website, this is the basic format for a link. Or you can use the link button. Now I want to say it's going to the New York Solar Energy Society org and the link text will be NYSES. Now when I save, it doesn't work. Look at that. Edit. What did I do wrong? Ah. It left out my second bracket. There we go. And now when I click on it, it should take me to the New York Solar Energy Society website. And there we go. So let's go back. We're going to add one more thing. We want this page, this file, <laughs> this picture to point to this website. Now all links are the target page followed by the name of the link. In this case the name of the link is the photo. We're going to save and now when I click on the photo it takes us to the New York Solar Energy Society. One more thing. Sometimes you'll see a thumbnail which is the small picture that I have here, point to a larger picture. This one should point to a larger picture. Right now it's got a little triangle next to it. It's asking me to upload again. I can go and I can choose my file. Instead of a thumbnail, let's Select the big page, and choose that, and upload it. And wait forever. And here it is down here in the existing uploads. And we're going to go and view the home page. When we click on it, it now just simply loads the large file. So you have a simple link. Again, that is 
page you want to go to, followed by the text. You have the page you want to go to with the image that you're going to display, or you have the image that you're going to go to with the image that you're going to display. This also works for PDF files. Say that I wanted to attach here a PDF. I could do this, PDF, and again, upload a PDF. When you click on the photo, a PDF will appear. Now, one more thing. Every page has its own name. Group, page name. If you're going to point inside of your own website, you don't have to do this with the whole HTTP. You can do the group and the name of the page. And then that would go to the About Us page, which in this case, since this is a sample website, it shows a different person. And there you go.